Well, the message in Massachusetts is make testing part of everyone's routine, even if you don't have symptoms. But here's the thing. There were really long lines right here at Suffolk Downs yesterday. And if you don't have an appointment, you have to be ready to wait. It's very frustrating to the point where my friend's in the car waiting and I said, let's just go. Let's just go. Long lines and frustration at COVID-19 testing sites in Massachusetts. From Lawrence General Hospital to the TJX parking lot in Framingham to Suffolk Downs, the wait at some of the 300 testing sites in the Commonwealth can be long. The pandemic is growing and people want to be tested. People are traveling, people are getting together for the holidays, and people need to be tested. But getting an appointment can be tough, especially for people without symptoms who are forced to stick it out and wait in line. Denise Good says she waited for more than four hours to get in. I have a timeline to be somewhere today, so I don't think I'm going to make it. It shouldn't be this hard. It just shouldn't. And it shouldn't cost so much money either. At urgent care facilities like Carewell and Somerville, the test is $160. Many people are trying to get in before traveling for Thanksgiving, like Don Baca, who's flying across the country to visit his daughter. I went down to uh, the Kmart. I was in line there, and then they, when I finally got... To somebody, they said, uh, uh, what time is your appointment? I said, I don't have an appointment. Now I'm here. While the long lines can be a frustration, some say it's worth the wait and it's necessary. They should do it. Why? It keeps other people safe. So yesterday during a press conference, Governor Baker acknowledged that this is a problem. To morning, Chris McKinnon, 7 News Today in New England. the weight and it's necessary they should do look at that fucking face huh says it all Boy. keeps other people safe so yesterday during a press conference governor baker acknowledged that this is a problem to see these really long lines and actually some testing sites are accommodating by opening up a little bit earlier like up at lawrence general hospital governor baker says he hopes to work with the federal government to try to figure out a solution for it Live at Suffolk Downs this morning, Chris McKinnon, 7 News Today in New England. Bunch of fucking bullshit. I can't believe it. I can't believe it.